I am now going to go over the course schedule with you. This is another very important document that I will ask you to reference weekly. So if you are one that prefers to have something printed and in front of you, this is definitely a document that I recommend you printing off and having with you at all times. The reason for that is this is literally your to-do list, your checklist, your um, all important information for this course is on this document. So week one, that's September 4th, um, is technically our first day. So the topic is the course overview, these videos that you're watching along with my personal introduction. So I have it broken down here in your weekly to-do list. So what do you need to do? You need to watch the videos on Blackboard. You need to watch the introduction video. And then lastly, I have a video that is posted um, that's it's just a fun little video that I show in my seated classes on the first day of every semester and then I show it again at the end of the semester. It's kind of a video outlining what I hope your takeaway from this class is. So these are three sections that you are responsible for watching and reviewing this week. Um, and then your homework that is assigned this week is going to be your own introduction video and um well it says discussion board post but i'll explain that in a second so your own introduction video i'm going to ask after you watch my introduction video that you then create and upload your own introduction video that will be posted to blackboard this video will only be for my eyes only it's not open to the class so please be open and and let me get to know you a bit it says discussion board but i changed it to a word document so if you have absolutely no means of recording and posting a video of yourself um, and you absolutely have no other choice then you may write it up in a document and then upload that document into Blackboard and the appropriate Dropbox. I prefer the video because this is my first impression of you. Really this is the only chance I'm going to get since we don't have a seated class to see your beautiful face hear your voice make those connections so I really would love if you can post the video but as an absolute backup then I will accept um, a word document or a document that will be uploaded to um, blackboard so week two which will include the dates of September 8th through the 11th because there is technically no school on September 7th um, and then so this week the topic is going to be getting acquainted so I will ask that you watch there's going to be a video posted on topic one this will be a video of me going through the PowerPoints on topic one giving a lecture on that topic on getting acquainted um, then you will do a reading assignment so I will show you on blackboard when I go over the blackboard course where the textbook is you will be responsible for reading chapter 1 section 1.1 so you will not read the entire chapter just section 1.1 and then lastly on Friday September 11th which I will show you on blackboard where to find this information that will be our first zoom meeting by that point you will have chosen which time group you will be joining and I will email everyone and ask for your um, responses to that but you will either join in at 9 a.m. 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. and that will be your time for the entire semester so it's very important that you review your schedule and choose the time that's going to work best for you throughout the semester um, then if you go over to the homework assignments for this week you will see that homework um, assignment packet for topic one is assigned this week and um, I'll show you again on Blackboard where you can find those and the reading questions so you'll read chapter 1 section 1.1 at the end of that section there will be questions you are responsible for answering question number three of that section so you will in a word document or some in a document you will answer that question in complete sentences and written clearly and making sense and you will then upload that document to the appropriate Dropbox on Blackboard then so that is what is being assigned this week now what's due this week 
is that video that was assigned last week. So if you look, last week under homework, you were assigned the introduction video or the post, and that is due this week by 8 a.m. on September 8th. So before any of our classes begin that week, you must have that posted. And then if you go to the third week, which is dated September 14th to the 18th, the topic is self-awareness. And if you go all the way to the end here, what is due this week, that is what was assigned last week. So your chapter or your topic one assignment packet is due this week on September 14th before the week starts the new topic. Your reading questions are also due that. So this is the format that you will use throughout the entire semester. So every Monday, you can pull up your um, schedule and you can see, okay, this week, say we're in week six. So week six, October 5th through the 9th, the topic's going to be dealing with emotions. So I'm going to watch the lecture video on Monday. This week, there is no reading. And then on Friday the 9th, you're going to participate in the Zoom meeting. And then you're going to go to what homework has been assigned for this week. This is the assignment. And you will look to see if there is anything that is due this week. And as you can see, nothing is necessarily due unless you didn't finish the um, Chapter 4 assignment that was given the week before. So it'll always follow the same format no matter whether you're at the start of the semester or the end of the semester. You will notice that there are two... Um, so on the left-hand side where the dates are, I have m made note of some important information that you might need to reference. So, for example, on September 11th, that is the last day to add courses. So if you're on the fence about adding another course or making any changes, that must be done by September 11th. Um, scrolling down, midterm grades are, are due this week of October 19th to the 23rd. So it'll be very important that you make sure all assignments are handed in prior to that. Um, the week of week 10, November 2nd to the 6th, last day to withdraw from any classes will be November 6th. And I also made note that election day is this week. So if you are able, please make sure you get out and vote. Where this is something that's very important and that will be discussed throughout the course. Um, the following week, no school on November 11th, so there was no reading assignment given to make up for that. And then another important point is you'll see on week 13, that is Thanksgiving week, and that I have given you as a catch-up week. So if at any point throughout the semester you have missed an assignment, um, you missed a reading passage because you got behind, whatever it may be, this week is for you to get caught up in everything. Um, if, and then you'll also notice, now, if anything is submitted late, there will be a point reduction. You will not get full credit if it was handed in late, so I want you to make note of that. The, and that week, you will be assigned the five-year plan. If you remember when I went over the syllabus, that that is 20% of your grade. You'll get much more details when that is assigned. Um, so don't worry about that now, but I want to point that out that it will be assigned week 13 and then it's going to be due a few weeks later. So you will have a few weeks to work on that. Okay. Um, and then if you go to the last week, last week is that's um, December 21st to the 23rd. So it's pretty late this semester. So for that reason, I gave that week as another um, catch up week. Now, for the, that work, I will only accept work if you previously reached out to me and made arrangements. So I don't want anyone to think that they can just blow things off and have the entire semester to turn work in. This is for um, extreme cases only when prior arrangements have been made, but this is an opportunity um, in those situations to get caught up and make sure everything is done at that point. So review this information, and again, if you have any questions on the course schedule, you'll notice that I did make note that it is possible there might be some changes. I'm not really expecting with an online format that there would need to be, but in case um, something comes up, it is subject to change. And again, the next, the bottom note, 
all homework must be submitted on time to receive full credit unless prior arrangements have been made with me. So if you um, know that you're having your wisdom teeth out and that even though it's an online course, you're going to be kind of out of it for a few days, so you're not going to be able to do your reading, then message me and say, hey, on Wednesday I'm having my wisdom teeth out. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the reading complete and get the assignments done on time. Can I have a couple extra days? If you reach out to me and it's a valid reason, then of course I will give you an extension. Um, but if you have not previously reached out to me or explained the situation, then there will be a point deduction made for um, work that has been turned in late. So after reviewing all of this, if you have any questions, please email me. Again, my email address can be found on the syllabus that I previously went over. Uh, thank you, and I will now go to and pull up Blackboard, so please watch the video on how to navigate our Blackboard course. Thank you.